day guys and welcome to the 2024 Barossa Light and Gawler Women's Footy Show. My name is Bailey and I'm so excited to be back with you guys for another year and of course my co-host for this evening, very special guest Erica Rowe is jumping on the panel. Erica, welcome to the hot seat mate. Thank you very much, I'm really happy to be here with you tonight Baz. Look mate, absolutely gave you the call up and was never shy of being uh, in front of the camera Erica. You've had your fair share of highlight reels the last couple of seasons mate. Your little uh, resume here, Gawler Central Premiership Captain, Samfell Representative, played at Country Champs, took home a couple of flags, mate. Is there anything you can't do? Uh, well, I don't want to be too confident with that, but obviously last year was a really, really good year uh, with um, obviously GC winning a flag and then Central's getting a flag too, plus the Country Champs team as well. So that was a pretty lucky year and I'm not sure if many people can say they've had that experience, but overall it was awesome. Absolutely, mate. Your resume is very impressive and we're going to get into the 2023 wrap up in just a minute. But a massive thank you to our major sponsor, The Exchange, and of course, all of our other sponsors, guys. Don't forget to get around them, because without them, the show would not be going ahead. Guys, we're going to jump straight into the 2023 Grand Final Recap, brought to you by Rejuvenate Sports and Remedial Therapy, another great sponsor of ours. Erica... Are you off cloud nine? Uh, it, that day was absolutely amazing. I was there in the crowd. I was so excited. Very privileged to be there and uh, be able to present the best on ground medal as well. Obviously, what a day. What a day for the yes, Tigers. It was honestly amazing. Obviously, probably not the most expected outcome throughout the season. You wouldn't have thought that we would have won the flag in the end. Um, but obviously, probably a highlight <laughs> for me for sure, um, especially with the one point score as well, which is huge for us absolutely too. Absolutely amazing. Again, taking on the undefeated Williston. This was actually the exact same situation that occurred back in 2021. Williston going undefeated, getting to verse you guys in the final. Whether it was a bout of mega manifestation, I've heard some rumours about some things that went I on think in it the was, background. It was a lot of manifestation, but yeah. I heard some t-shirts got ordered. We weren't really sure what was going on. Mate, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, so obviously... Uh, when we made it into the finals, we were sitting fourth at the start and then we obviously had to win every single game um, to make it to the grand final. Um, but even as soon as we made it to the finals, I think myself and Murph just said, no, we're actually going to do this and there was no other option to not win the grand final in the end. Um, so it was a lot of belief and obviously the shirts as well. But yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. Amazing. And great captains for the team. Obviously, you and Murph sharing the co-captaincy, being able to take that flag home with Murph. Um, Shannon Murphy going home with the Cotton Media Grand Final MVP. She's a bloody legend. Had an absolute great season. Great final, obviously. Unfortunately, during the off-season recently, um, suffered an ACL injury. But mm. all the best for Murph on her recovery with mm. that. I don't think it'll take her uh, too much to get back to tip-top shape, no. mate. I'm sure GC Definitely not. <laughs> will be uh, welcoming her back with open arms mm. as well. Oh, and even she's obviously out helping the coaching as well this year. So she's not shying away from still helping out, which is awesome. But obviously really devastating with her injury too. Absolutely. Yeah. But really important, guys, as well. Get behind your volunteers as a season starting up. Really mm. important. If you've got a spare minute or anything, give back to your clubs. Jump in the canteen, become a coach or anything like that, guys. Your clubs really do appreciate that. Mm, definitely. Jumping into 2024 footy season now. Um, unfortunately, Barossa's senior women mm. team has dropped out last minute, unable to uh, field a team this year, which is obviously really disappointing. Mm. Myself being a doggies girl at heart, very disappointing to see my club kind of Fall, fall short on numbers to be able to push that uh, team mm, across. So definitely. absolutely devastating, but really good. A lot of people have heard the obviously redevelopment down at Lindock, mm. which is multi-million dollar facility going up to host Gather Round next year. Mm. And Bross is actually going to be moving there as a club as well. Which so to be amazing. able to have those facilities there, I can only imagine people are going to be uh, knocking on our door next season. So definitely. guys, uh, watch this space. I can only imagine doggies will be better, mm. uh, bigger and better next year back Definitely. into it. And I think, sorry, just jump in, but I think a lot of the other teams have acknowledged how sad it is that obviously you weren't able to make a team, um, but it will be pretty exciting when you do get to use that new facility. And obviously the talent that comes from that club as well is pretty exciting as you look at central districts and how many Barossa girls are there too. So hopefully next year you'll start it back up. Absolutely. And the girls that wanted to play for Barossa this year, I think there's a few out at the moment. If you do not have a club yet, there's still plenty of clubs mm. throughout the Barossa. Make sure you make some phone calls, get on these lists. I myself am a free agent right now, so uh, best uh, contract in the Everyone comments. Everyone apply for it. Up, all right. Anyone wants a real liability on their team, give me a call. 
But on that note, mate, we're going to jump into the round one wrap up from the weekend. Sounds Great good. weekend of footy. We had Angerson take on Tanunda down at Tanunda on a Friday night. Did see a familiar face in the high vis out there, Butchie umpiring <laughs> that game. Angerson, seven goals, 3.45 to Tanunda's four goals, 4.28. Angerson best in Alana Phillips with. Uh, S. Hughes kicking three and Tanunda's best in Nicola Biagi kicking one and Kiama Weitra kicking three as well. Second game for the weekend was Light taking on Gawler Central. Light kicking one goal 3-9 to Gawler Central's kicking nine goals 4-58. Gawler Central's best in Kate Grady, very comfortable back down in the home mm. colours. Great to see Grady having a good game there with Taylor Botton kicking three. Light's best in Ella Leggett and Madison Muir as well. Look, Light girls had a tough day out on the track. Gawler Central, mate. I know that's it's strong. really exciting to see the scoreline and obviously actually I want to acknowledge that that's probably the first time that Gawler Centrals has fielded a whole team for round one so that in itself is actually really exciting and then Kate Grady obviously um, amazing player to have co-captains uh, with myself this year which is super exciting to see and Taylor Botton um, from North Haven I believe and she won their association best and fairest so it's a huge recruit there. Super excited to see those names pop up. Lots more to come. Amazing. Great game from the girls. And our last game from the weekend was South Gawler taking on Newry. South Gawler kicking one goal. Newry kicking at 19 goals, 13. Big scoreline for Newry. They're going to be absolutely wrapped. I can imagine Rubo was fist pumping pretty hard down there. Great recruits by the girls mm. down there. Um, South Gawler obviously coming out the gates a little bit slow, but I expect that they're going to build up during the season as Definitely. they always do. South best in Shane Dredge and Anya Jackson. Newry's best, Renee Richardson, kicking four goals. Again, another uh, captain coach looking mm. the absolute Extravaganza goals. does it all. <laughs> okay, mate, give herself a BOG. I don't mind that at all. Uh, but Courtney Smith, very handy mm. pickup for them, kicking five on the weekend saw a great photo from longtime photography was that with the three a little mm. celebration there Definitely. goal number three uh, we just needed to wait off and have another photo for the five but maybe Absol next time Courtney absolutely <laughs> Courtney has it all again next week <laughs> absolutely that's our round one wrap up Erica thank you so much for joining me in the hot seat tonight mate oh, it's been a pleasure <laughs> anytime you want to come back on join me back